Hey everybody, I got a little tip for you for working on your AC. You got a system that's completely dead, no air, no Freon in it, and with the rules and regulations the way they are, you don't want to be releasing Freon in to uh, the atmosphere, into there. Uh, I'm going to get it wrong, I'm going to give credit to this. He gave me the idea what's his name real fixes or real fast fixes I can't remember I'm sorry anyway he showed taking the hose and taking and uh, kind of screwing an air fitting in like that on but it doesn't seal it well I got thinking I've got this uh, set of parts gauges here and this is what I left out. Um, I found a adapter that I had with an oil pressure and uh, it fit. I took this out of the gauge set so now I could screw the hose on and get an airtight seal, put the adapter on, and now then I got this style adapter so I can hook up the shop air. And you don't want to put a whole, you got to regulate your shop air. Don't put full pressure to it, otherwise, you're going to have more problems with your AC than whatsoever. But yeah, I got thinking there's got to be a better way of uh, just kind of forcing the threads into the, onto the, that than having to use a rubber band seal it. Well, this way it's going to be completely sealed and it won't be leaking with that the hose. So then you can find out where the leak is. And what's got me going on this is Kids Yukon absolutely has nothing. I've tried vacuuming it down and it don't even vac down. It's got that big a leak. So, and I couldn't find it in the normal spots on it. So, we'll try this out later. So, right now I'm working on another AC for Buddy. Uh, he got some dye stuff this time. So, we're going to be able to see where the leak is or see what's leaking. But, yeah. It keeps leaking down on him. It goes about a year, year and a half, then gone. But it'll back down and hold for a while. So, and we've already replaced the valves and the hose. So, anyway, I was just going to share that little tip. There's a airtight seal. Well, here I'll show you. Where's the end of a hose? Where's the end of a hose? Here it is. Because now, if I can do this one-handed. Let's see. There. I can't do it one handed. So now you can. Oh, it helps if I have the right hose, huh? There we go. Yeah, it goes to your low pressure hose. So there you go. Now you can hook up to your shop air and find your leak in your AC system. So. I'll put a little Teflon tape on that. And yeah. Hopefully it's a tip that's helpful for you. But like I said, do it at your own risk. Um, yeah. Anyway. I don't know if we'll see them or not, but... Here they are. Mama cat there, she raised two of them, so but yeah. Uh, well, the vehicle I tested this with is gone already, it's the kids's, and it worked just like it was supposed to. Their leak is back by the back passenger side tire, so that little gizmo right there did its job. But he's got the part of the yard looking good. Uh, I'm standing around waiting for stuff to show up. It's supposed to be. Well, oh, it's coming. Not everything that I was counting on, but uh, some parts are supposed to be showing up here. Uh, I was going to fix Snowball AC today, but not feeling it. So, uh, 
And there's a nice present I found too, laying in the ditch. Been laying there for quite a while. The brake drum all is there. That all come off. And uh, it wasn't any time recently because the brake drum is very, very rusty. And where I got it out of the ditch, you could see that it was uh, been there for a while. But, uh, oh, guys. Now the Camaro's kind of looking a little sad sitting here, but uh, I know. I see, and this would be the time to do it. I need some control arm bushings, both sides. So, more than likely, I need front shocks, control arm bushings. Uh, all sorts of stuff. But, yeah, it does look a lot better since I power washed the car before coming out here. And then we've had some pretty heavy rains out here that have helped clean it up underneath here, too. So, <sighs> closer to getting the title on that truck. Uh, speaking of that, go see. The battery's been going dead because the truck's not getting used and... It's charging. Oh, that broke off. Huh. It's like, what's that? So, yeah. The guy said this thing was using oil like mine. Oh, yeah, mine's using a lot of oil. So. I think the gray one over there it's going to end up on this chassis. That door is going to end up on my truck. Not the front one. Third door. And this one. Windshield's busted. None of the fenders are good. Everything's rotted out on it. But the frame is good underneath. I straddled the ditch with this. And uh, it's in decent shape. So. Yeah. It's hard to believe. And you know, I've talked about the Camaro having a barn a barn fall on it. Well, they got it here with a rafter. And then up in here with a rafter. Yeah, yeah my roof. Fine, don't go back up there and shed water for me. Uh, Starting to come to the the reality that the world and the life as we knew it starting this year is never coming back. Um, I've been wanting to get cleaned up here in front because I'm still holding out hope. Uh, is I want to get this all cleaned up and I want to go from there about 20 foot out or so and then put a whole pad here so that way I've got I can have cars out here and working on and that but I don't know I really don't know what the future has for the this world not just the country it's the whole world and uh, starting to wonder if some things are going to be worth doing but, <sighs> that's where I'm at well, I've also found out they do make a short four-post hoist, or two-post, was it? Two-post, short two-post, I think it is. Found a company that makes one for low clearances like me, 
where I could actually put a hoist in here and still do lifts and get it'd be a little hard to do a transmission for me I'd still have to get down but uh, for doing most everything else it would be okay but yeah I just idle time it makes you have too much time to think and as the old saying goes idle hands is the devil's workshop and tired of this. I'm very, very tired of sitting around wondering what's going on. Uh, so, I have knocked on a couple other motors. I don't know, I might put that video at the end or so. But, uh, and then as for the hunting truck motor, you guys push rods around the way for that. So I can get that one running. I kind of wanted to keep it, but as that at this point, it might be for sale after it's done and running. So it got warm out there. It was nice and cool. Anyway, I guess I'm going to edit this up, and if there's more here, it's from the other day, knocking down stuff, so. I guess we'll see you guys all later. Hang in there and go from there, so. Later. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? I'll take you outside and show you what I was working on out there yesterday but hey we got 40 mile per hour wind gusts this is nasty outside you won't be able to hear nothing so I've had another motor sitting here that was on the floor which now got up here on the engine stand uh, the gentleman that had this motor had it running and he's like it's got some noise well on the video we could hear hear it and uh, it, you can see where the number one piston has slapped the head but you look at the number one that's black and that's black that's not a good sign so we're going to take that out and see what happened there yeah okay I need a new stand. But anyway, so hang with me for a second. Yeah, it's 90 some degrees today with a wind. Which is a good thing, so otherwise it'd be. And my tree this year is bigger. <laughs> it's shaded the shop longer. And it's almost livable in here yet. I'm going to have to look into getting a. AC or something, but anyway, since that rod's nice and black, let's see how tight the bolts are. Yeah, bolts still tight. That one wasn't. issues uh, that's that's not a good sign that's not a good sign at all yeah I'm gonna uh, very, 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 okay. I don't want to get the camera all totally yeah that's not a good sign let's see there you go there's one bearing half. That rod is 
fun, big time. Yep. Well, that's that's a that's a shame. Oh yeah, that rod is smoked. And you can see where the crank was starting to hit the piston. So, let's see. Oh. Ah. Ah, that's sharp. Okay, just a second here. I'm going to have to knock the other one off. That's why. And that's why I was another one of those. Oh, it was running good. So. And these were a set of X rods. That's uncommon for that. Still can't get that. Oh, sure. Now they went. Oh yeah, she ate into the crank. There's number two rod bearing. Yep. Crank his toast, so. There's a fancy bearing for you. Wow. Oh my. Um, and this motor was just running not that long ago. Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah, that rod's turned black, burnt. So, there is your new customized bearings. Wow. Okay, well. That answers that, huh? That answers that. Well, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and keep knocking the pistons out of it because that crank's scrap iron. That's all you can do, so, alright. Well, it's the next day. I didn't finish up yesterday, but uh, uh, that block there might be used for something else now, so got to verify bore and that and then we might have something good this is the motor I've been turned down outside that was supposed to be good ready to run and is stuck I gotta get the flywheel off the rear uh, it's a one-piece rear seal I gotta get the rear main seal off get it on the engine stand and dish out some of the evaporust and put in that cylinder and see if we can get her broke loose and hopefully it hasn't pitted the wall because that is another good standard block which I could use up two sets of standard pistons I've got around here and get stuff done got this one uh, yeah still gotta get push rods for that I gotta get bearings for this setup still waiting on the heads for this and actually the heads on that one too I'm waiting on those so um, yeah, so I've been tearing down stuff and taking care of stuff outside, trying to get stuff out of the way, get it up off the floor. Uh, yeah, and it's extremely hot here today. It's 94, and I'm not doing good with the heat. And here a little bit ago, I just opened, oops, sorry, I opened the door. To get that block in because they're talking storms and I don't want that one getting wet uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot sitting around waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. So, yeah. Uh, I got a few more things. Uh, I've tried contacting somebody that's supposed to be doing stuff for me and I don't hear back, so I guess I'll have to show up there tomorrow and see what's going on. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, I want the 377 running. I'm close to getting the push rods for the that motor. Uh, just <laughs> and now the heat's here. Uh, it's a good thing the wind is blowing, otherwise it would be totally unbearable, but oh my goodness, I opened the door, roll that motor in, and yeah, you definitely don't want the door open very long. It's actually staying comfortable in here, and I might have to figure out how to put some AC in here yet, so I don't know, but then again, who knows, but uh... Yeah, I got some stuff to do the snowball. And, uh, right now, I am really, really trying to figure out how to put a concrete slab in front of the shop. Uh, one that I can park a vehicle east to west and work on it. And uh, just do that for now. Let's see. There's days, like now, with the weather being nice, since most everything's on wheels, I could roll the stuff out, let it sit outside, and uh, get in here and do some work, and then at night roll it back in. But, uh, yeah, so... <sighs> yeah, I'm getting quite the coral clutch. Yeah, jeez, that was a tongue, tongue twister. I'm getting quite the collection of uh, scrap iron built up, but unfortunately it's not worth what it's weight. So, uh, yeah. So I know you guys are really wanting some of these projects finished up. So am I. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm at the mercies of others finishing what I need done so but anyway so yeah if that one block turns out we're gonna have well I don't well, we might do that build on the channel I don't know we'll see <laughs> it's kind of a different build so I might just keen to anyway uh yeah I guess hope everybody's staying safe the weather's treating you decent and, and keep going on the project so I got plenty of them but, uh, <sighs> yeah anyway see you guys later have a good one